Hello friends and welcome back to my weekly Tableau tip. Today we're going to be talking about hex bin maps. Hex bin maps are useful if you have lots of data to display on your map, but you're not quite sure how to show it most effectively. I'm going to define a hex bin map, show you use cases for when to use it, when not to use it, and then I'll show you how to build it in Tableau. Let's get started. There have been countless times in my career when I've been asked to display way too much data on a map. Sometimes I've been asked to display thousands of points, but I know nobody's going to understand it. This video is going to help you communicate the concentration of data on maps more effectively and give you another option for visualizing geospatial data. If you find this tip useful, please give it a like and click subscribe so you don't miss any future tips. A hex bin map uses hexagons, hence the name, to divide an area into multiple parts and assign a color gradient to each hexagon based on the number of data points that fall within each hexagon. Use a hex bin map when you need to create an unbiased density distribution. Choropleth, or filled maps, that encompass large areas, like Texas versus Ohio in this case, look more emphasized just because of their size, introducing a potential bias in perception. With a hex bin map, each region can be represented equally, thus removing the bias. If your locations have a broad range of sizes and it introduces a bias, consider using a hex bin map instead. You should avoid hex bin maps when distinguishing regions is important. Map readers generally recognize a geographic area by its shape and where it's relative to other areas. If the physical location of a region needs to be visualized, hex bin maps do not work well. Let's look at a couple of examples. This field map shows bike crashes in Austin by zip code. It looks like a large number of accidents are in downtown. But are they? When we look at each individual accident as a dot, they cover each other and you can't see the density well. If we reduce the opacity and reduce the size of the dots, it's better, but not a whole lot. A density map certainly shows the heat better, but it's too difficult to extract the quantities of accidents in each area. If we want to focus on the density in equally sized sections, a hex bin map is a better choice. Keep in mind that a hex bin map doesn't have to be hexagons. Circles or squares or diamonds work well too. Let's see how we build this in Tableau. Let's take a look at this map of bike accidents in Austin, Texas. We want to turn this into a hex map. The first thing we need to do is to create a parameter that allows us to optimize the number of hex bins drawn. So from the view, click on the triangle and then create parameter. I'm going to call this my adjuster. I'm going to leave it as a float data type and leave the current value at 1. Hit OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and show this parameter. The next thing I'm going to do is create two calculated fields. The first one I'm going to call hex bin x. I'm going to use the hex bin x function. And on the right hand side, notice it maps to an x, y coordinate. So x in our case is going to be longitude comma latitude. Now what we need to do is we're going to use this adjuster to scale the number of hex bins drawn. So I'm going to multiply my longitude times adjuster, multiply my latitude by adjuster, and then to scale it back to a latitude and longitude value I'm going to now divide the whole thing by the adjuster. I'm going to duplicate that field edit the copy, and I'm going to call this one hex bin y. And all I need to do here is change the function that I'm calling to hex bin y, and click OK. These fields are both going to show up as measures because they return numbers, but I want those to be dimensions. So I'm going to drag them up to the dimensions area, and then right click and make sure they are both converted to continuous. Now the hex bin X we're going to put on the columns and the hex bin Y we're going to put on the rows. And right now we only get a single dot because we haven't adjusted the number of hex bins to draw. So let's show our parameter. And if we type in maybe 10, we can see we get a few more dots. If I type in 100, I get a few more. Okay, but I don't see a map in the background. So what I need to do is on my hex bin X field in the data pane, 
I'm going to click on the pound symbol that's to the left of the field name, go down to geographic roll, and change it to longitude. The hex bin Y, I'm going to change the geographic roll to latitude. And now we have a map. Now that we have this map, we can show the density by dragging the number of accidents onto the color shelf. But if you want to use hexagons, change the mark type from automatic to a shape. You're going to then click on your shape shelf and then click on more shapes. What you're going to need to do is add a hexagon shape to your Tableau Shapes repository. So for me, I've created a, a shape folder that holds icons. And here I'm going to bring in the hexagon and click OK. And now I have hexagons in the view. So that's how you do a hex bin map. I'm going to duplicate this sheet and now I'm going to show you what it looks like if we change, the, change it from the number of accidents to the rank. So on my count of accidents field, I'm going to click on the triangle, choose quick table calculation, and then rank. So let's see how we do that for our price data. So here we have a map of prices by stores across the entire United States, and it's very difficult to see any patterns. I'm going to create a parameter, and I'm going to call this my uh, price parameter. Again, I'm going to leave it at float and a one. Hit OK. And then we create our two calculated fields. Hex bin X. And we're going to use the hex bin X function. We're going to call the longitude and multiply that by our parameter, comma latitude. And we're going to multiply, multiply that by our parameter. And then divide the whole thing by our parameter. Hit OK. Let's duplicate that field. Edit the copy. And all I need to do is change the name and then change the function it's called to X bin Y. Click OK. Convert them both to be dimensions and make them both continuous. My hex bin X field, I'm going to change the geographic role to longitude. And my hex bin Y field, I'm going to change it to latitude. Double click on hex bin X, double click on hex bin Y, and now we have dots across America. Let's show that parameter, and notice this value is only 1, whereas in our previous view we had it set to 200. That's because the 200 were zoomed in much closer geographically, so let's maybe change it to 2. And now we can drag our average price, let's drag that onto the color shelf, and now we can see when the price is really cheap versus when it's more expensive. And I'm using circles, but again, I could make these hexagons if I wanted to. If you've made it through this whole video, leave me an emoji as a comment. That'll be our secret signal that you made it all the way through. I hope you enjoyed learning the purpose of hex bin maps and how to create them in Tableau. If you'd like to learn more, leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to learn. Have a good day.